The Sign of the Times, episode 114, from an undisclosed map. That's undisclosed map, where I am here. Here I am. So saith the map. So, for the people that love the snaps, Twitter, where you can follow me, however, not literally, much like Sergeant Max Steel, or much like Michael Madness of APW fame, or even like Seymour Snot. They never follow me literally, however, on Twitter they do. Facebook, the Forum Spring, the YouTube, which you might be watching right now. Right now. Comic book of Team IOU, which was at Resistance Pro Wrestling last night. Maybe they saw Cameron Starr. Maybe they didn't. Although rumors persist, they were with Thunder Kitty and how a kitty and a dog coexist in a car with a young boy like that for that many hours. I don't know. Baffle. Business card of Casey Carlisle. Hashtag best in the world. Hashtag NWA world women's champion. Hashtag whom I love. There's Team I Team Bad News. Missy Liz, Troy Miller, who may, may have a care package on the way. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Casey Carlisle, look at that. You can get those at CaseyCarlisle.com. Now imagine if she teamed with them for one huge super website that sold Team Bad Knees and Casey Carlisle stuff. Get Troy Miller t-shirts, Missy Liz coffee mugs, Casey Carlisle Posters, it'd be great. I would shop there. Look at that. Angry Casey picture. Casey with the world title belt picture. Look at how big that belt is. That's a huge belt. That is bigger than Donnie Idol. Catholic schoolgirl Casey. Look at that. Pillow Casey. Look at that. You could buy. 20 of those if you wanted caseycarlisle.com steel cage gimmick casey look at that and then because it's no longer a secret from qt because he got his gift which i got him thoughtfully at caseycarlisle.com i can show you these brand new casey carlisle pictures casey carlisle on a hot nurse's outfit which i needed at hpw but i did not see which is probably all that would have taken to save me. I could have continued the show if that had happened. Pouty Casey with the title belt picture. Look at that. NWA World Women's Champion. Look at that. You could buy like a dozen of those and you're all set for King Day on Monday. Look at that. Street clothes Casey. Look at that. Look at that. Hot nurse outfit Casey Carlisle. Look at that. Why that never materialized at HPW when I needed it, I don't know. Beast, next time maybe the phrase, hot nurse needed at ringside could come out. Next time there's an injury, try it, see what happens. I was for words, but QT complaining of the brevity of last week's The Sign of the Times, episode 113. This week, not as blustery not his bluster and he must be much happier because he got the greatest Christmas gift he had ever received in five and a half years one of them being a Casey Carlisle in a picture signed that was in a frame and then a book he received which he read to Mr. Tubbs in part I'm sure we'll hear more of that book I'm sure at some point he'll say I just want to read you chapter three through nine and then I'll read it. But this week coming up, sort of busy. Sunday, we have Beast Barnett coming to the program. Beast Barnett, senior referee that apparently did not think the yell hot nurse needed at ringside stat when someone was injured. He should have. Maybe we'll ask him about that. Monday. Yeah, it's looking pretty free even though it is King Day. 
Tuesday, the lounge, and people from Pro Wrestling All Stars out of Detroit are going to be invading the lounge. They have a huge show coming up the 31st. They're going to preview it on the lounge. Maybe they'll book Stevie during the course of the program. I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Wednesday, and yeah, looking pretty free. Thursday, looking kind of freeish unless QT wants to do some wind sprints. QT are you up for wind sprints. Next Friday, Crusher Koloff out of Missouri going to be on the show. That's Crusher Koloff. So, if we're reviewing, plenty of pictures available at CaseyCarlisle.com. Plenty of them to buy. Sunday, Beast Barnett. Monday, looking pretty free. Tuesday, the lounge. Stevie's got a plethora of people from Pro Wrestling All Stars out of Detroit. That's Detroit, Michigan. Wednesday, and it's pretty much looking free. Thursday, also free as unless QT wants to do some wind sprints. Afterwards, we could go for coffee. QT, I know you enjoy coffee. I would even pick up the cup of coffee. Maybe at 7-Eleven. Maybe we'd get it at Tolly's. I don't know. It depends on where we wind sprint. Although, there is a trail right here. Look at that. Perfect for wind sprint. You could run down this little hill here, QT. And there's a map so you don't get lost. If you're like, I don't know where I'm wind sprinting. You look at the map. You're not lost anymore. Friday of next week, Crusher Koloff coming to the show for the first time. It's going to be very interesting. Hopefully QT doesn't ask him the same thing on Al Tubbs' show with robotic dog pets for sports entertainers. Because that was bizarre even for our show. Let's face it. And if... Draco and Komodo come up with robotic pets in 2023. I guess that means QT's a genius, although he'll probably be in the nursing home and doesn't remember, so what would it really prove? But for now, from this undisclosed map, where there is a clubhouse, cafe, and restrooms, maybe we'll go there for coffee after Wind Sprints QT, and you can volunteer. Can volunteer. Episode 114.